Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to microblade my own eyebrows. I've been wanting to get my eyebrows microbladed for a really long time. I'm kind of a scaredy cat and I'd rather myself mess them up and it be kind of somewhat permanent and me be mad at myself for it rather than kind of putting it into someone else's hands and then hating them for it because they turned out not so good. So I'm just going to go with it, hope for the best. I did my research online, watched a few YouTube videos. I felt like Meh, it can't be that hard, but it probably is. So here we go. I bought the microblade pen and all the little razor things on Amazon. And then I bought the pigment bond on Amazon as well. I'll link it below, not sponsored. Just what I felt like looked good at the moment, kind of affordable. So my girlfriends are like well probably not a good idea maybe you should practice on an orange and I was like yeah I'll definitely practice on an orange but I was too lazy so I'm just gonna practice on myself so obviously I'm not a professional and if you're under 18 I wouldn't do this but I'm not your mama every video I watch said don't do this at home and here I am doing it at home mm. I'm gonna roll with one of them from in here and I'm actually going to light it on fire just to make sure that I don't get hepatitis C or whatever that is that you can get from using unsterile things. I'm gonna open up my little bond guy. The color that I got from me was brunette brown. Um, I thought I got numbing cream, but I clearly forgot. But I've got my lips done before without numbing cream and I survived it, so I feel good about it. We're just gonna go with it. Aha, all right, okay. Because I touched it, which you're not supposed to do. I'm just gonna hit it with a little fire guy. Make sure it's nice and Oof, oof, don't get set on fire though. Okay, I feel good. I feel like we're clean. My dog just got up and ran away. She knows this is a bad idea. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this in here. So I already drew them in just the outside perimeter of how I want them to be. And I'm just going to take the blade and then I'm gonna dip it into the pigment and I'm just gonna start carving, um, coloring them in, kind of like coloring inside the lines. I'm gonna try to follow which way my hair grows because I do have like maybe like two little guys down here that, and I notice they kind of grow down. So um, I'm just gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna start on this one first. You can see where I pretty much drew it in. Make sure your face is really, really clean too. Oof. Ooh. Definitely not like drawing your eyebrows on. It's like you're making little nicks. Honestly, I have no numbing cream on and it's totally fine. Like it's not bad at all. Now I'm gonna take like a little pad and kind of wipe some of the pigment away. Um, just so I can see what's happening. I can legit feel like hear it in my skin, like my skin kind of like ripping, I guess. I'm definitely bleeding, but I'm not surprised because I'm a bleeder. Some people will just bleed more than others. And every time I've ever gotten like Botox or my lips done, I definitely bleed. And again, I'm not literally wiping it away. I'm just like dabbing it because I don't want to take the pigment away because I want the pigment to kind of settle into my skin as much as possible. really dark at the end which is fine because that's definitely where I want the darkest of my pigment um, and I'm kind of just letting it stay I'm gonna kind of let that pigment sit for a little bit and let it dry up and then I'm gonna wipe it all off and see what it looks like and then see if I want to throw any more on so my brows are done it's so weird like not being able to wipe them away it's so so strange 
Like they turned out so good. I'm so proud of myself, Goliange. What I did for the most part, my biggest tip to you is to definitely have a mirror that's kind of far away and then have a mirror that's kind of close up. And what I also did was I had my phone because what I see in the mirror might kind of look good, but then when I take a picture straight on, kind of like that, you know, um, my face is clearly super uneven because I'm a face sleeper. Um, so what I would do is I would take the picture little by little after I kind of wiped it away, add a little more, things like that. Like it's a little shiny um, right now just from it getting done. So like I feel like the lighting's kind of wiping away the tail end a little bit. Taking a picture straight on definitely helped because then I could kind of play around with the arches, um, play around with the thickness, see, make sure everything kind of evened up as much as possible. Just because again, looking in person, like live, you can't, your eyes kind of see one thing. And then when you look back at it in a picture, you can kind of see what you want to change a little bit. That so we are on day three. I've had no issues, no side effects, no itching, no scabbing, no scarring, no bleeding, no fading. Um, I sleep on my face. I felt that would be an issue because I can't seem to not do it. I've had no problems at all with it, no irritation. The only thing is I, I even wore makeup the other day, which was day two, and I've had no problems with it. I didn't put any like brow products on though. I just did it kind of around. I cleaned my face with like a damp washcloth and I just kind of made sure not to touch them. And honestly, I've had no issues. I know people say not to get them wet, don't put Vaseline on it, but um, I got them wet and I have been putting Vaseline on it because from doing my research, I've seen people who didn't put Vaseline on it and it ends up scabbing and then it takes out a lot of the pigment and it kind of turns gray. Um, I didn't want that to happen and so I've seen a lot of people who say that they recommend doing the Vaseline because they don't want to scab over um, and people that have done that. I personally liked how it turned out better. I don't mind my eyebrows being darker because I kind of have darker roots. So I feel like that's kind of up to you which route you want to go. Personally, I would recommend putting the Vaseline on that because then you're going to keep the pigment in there. They're going to be moist and they're not going to itch as much. They're not going to be as painful. Um, but if you don't like that they're so dark, don't get them wet, keep them dry, do you, live your best life. Um, so yeah, if anybody has any mean, nasty comments, keep it to yourself because I could care less really what you think. Um, if they turned out terrible to you, I don't care if you think that because I love them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I love you guys. I hope you like this video. And if you guys decide to try this, just remember things could go terribly wrong. Um, anything's possible and good luck.